Hey, y'all. So, yeah, thank you, Nate and Rachel. That was hard to follow, but I do, I, I do think that my story will do a good job um, drawing a line through a lot of the stories we've heard tonight and, and bringing us back to JR. Um, because my story kind of starts with Brag Jam um, and was inspired by something that you said in that beautiful telling of the history of Brag Jam. Um, so, I came to the Storytellers event like two months ago, and I've been to a few this year. And I wrote an anonymous answer to like something about your family, um, and I wrote that my mom let me go to Bonnaroo when I was 16 years old. Uh, according to my remember reading that one, but uh, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna tell that story because it's a good one. Uh, if I tell it right now, I didn't practice, so y'all bear with me and I'll be quick. But um, so you mentioned MVP. MVP stands for Megan Venue Project, and that was a uh, venue project here in Maiden back in like 2007, 8, 9, maybe through 11 or 12. Some guys like Brandon Dish and some other folks were involved with it. Um, I worked with Starcadia back in 2008 and 9. I'm sure people here remember Starcadia. Um, yeah. I do, yeah, I have my staff t shirt at the house. I'm not the only Starcadia t shirt owner in this town. But um, yeah, so we actually hosted MVP at the pavilion of Starcadia. Um, something JR might know, Cora might know, but. Um, I was like 16, and, and Rachel, you mentioned uh, when you go to a concert of your choosing, it's a little bit different than like going to shows with your parents when you're a kid. So the first concert of my choosing was at MVP, at Starcadia, in the summer of 26, 2008. And that was like a band called He Is Legend. And so there's this hard rock band from where, like Tennessee or something, and it was like mosh pits, and it was a bunch of older people there, and I was 16, and kind of lanky, and didn't know what to do. Uh, and I remember thinking, wow, this is cool. I'm going to be at a big concert a week from now. And that's because earlier that summer, I had been invited to go to Bonnaroo, this music festival in Tennessee. And I had somehow convinced my, um, shall we say, like unwitting mother into allowing that. Um, and I, you know, anyone who knows about Bonnaroo understands that reference. It's a gigantic music and arts festival in Manchester, Tennessee. And, um, yeah, that was supervised 16 year old, maybe shouldn't go there. But I had a great time. Um, I had a fantastic time. And I went with like, some guys that were a little bit older than me, like 18, 19. I was 16. Um, and this was really my first kind of adventure in going to shows on my own. So I went pretty quickly from seeing a band named He Is Legend at Starcadia, hosted by the MVP, uh, Make a Mini Project, which was a subsidiary of Bragg Hammer. However, um, and got to see some really amazing music. And, um, you know, I wrote it down. I don't know where I put that sheet of paper. I'm just going to name some of them. Don't worry. Pearl Jam, Metallica, Kanye West. He pissed off the crowd, right? He was like two, two three hours late to his show. And his show was scheduled to start at 2 a.m., right? So Kanye West didn't play until like 5. But the sun was coming up, and uh, that song, Good Morning, you know, it's a song. So it was kind of cool. Um, Ben Folds, someone mentioned Ben Folds. Mariana mentioned Bob Marley, his son Stephen was there. Um, Government Mule was not there that year, but they were there in other years, and I did go back <laughs> five years after that, so I saw Government Mule a couple times in Bonnaroo. Um, yeah, Robert Plant and Alison Krauss did a set together in 2008, so pretty sweet. Um, our own Greg Allman was there one of the years. I, I got to see him up in Manchester. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I'll kind of tie it back together. I got to see MGMT, and that was the same year that Electric Bill came out, so I know all my young people can really appreciate yes. uh, what that meant to me, as well as the Raconteurs, Steady As She Goes, the same yes. time period. Um, yeah, I mean, if you can imagine going to that place at the age of 16 and seeing that much life and that much culture all just like kind of gathered to be together and to celebrate music and, and community, it was, uh, it was pretty amazing. And then when I got back, I started my junior year of high school and sat next to this kid in my math class that I hated. And the teacher was a total, uh, not someone I liked. And at the end of, the, at the, end of the, uh, the end of the first week of class, we were all new there because it was Howard High School, brand new. Um, this kid that was kind of quiet sat next to me. I, you know, we talked a little bit. And then at the end of the class, I was like, yeah, you know, I went to Bonnaroo this summer. And he was like, what? Was like, I went to Bonnaroo this summer. You can imagine we became best friends, and um, and then my other best friend from high school played shows at MVP uh, for the you know, several years following that. So it all kind of kind of connects, and um, yeah. So I went from uh, starting at MVP here in Macon to like going to Bonnaroo and, and seeing a bunch of big names, and really kicking off my music career uh, in a big way. So 
Yeah, that's the whole story. Okay.